Two flight controllers are hitting the market right now. The Alien Wolf Project Zero and the Newbie Drone B-Brain Lite. The Alien Wolf board is made by Betaflight FPV and is being actively promoted by Jesse Perkins and the Tiny Whoop family. In fact, most of his team pilots are running the Alien Whoop Zero right now. And because Tiny Whoop and Newbie Drone are the most popular brands out there for racing and freestyle Tiny Whoop sized drones, I'm going to do a comparison on the two. We're going to break it down into three aspects. Price, how easy it is to use, and how well the performance is. So let's dive in and see what we got. It's recommended to use Awesome Sauce Motors for the Project Zero flight controller. And the newbie drone BB Lite recommends you use their gold motors. Since the KV value is very similar between these two motors, that's what they recommend, so that's what I'm using for the review. First up, let's compare the price. The Project Zero flight controller costs $35. You'll also need to buy an RX receiver, a camera, frame, and motors. The newbie drone will cost about $120 roughly, and it will come with a plug-in camera, frame, and motors as well. So for price, I'm going to give the Project Zero a 4, 4 and a half star rating. I think the price comes in really good at just over $100, and depending on the components, you can get it really cheap. And for the B Brain Light kit, I'd like to give you four stars. Your price point of $120-ish dollars is still really good, competitive with everything else out on the market, and it's very user-friendly. You won't be disappointed with either one of these when you put the money into it. The next comparison is ease of use. How easy is it to set up the Project Zero Fly Controller, and how easy is it to set up the Newbie Drone? Let's figure it out. The Project Zero Flight Controller does not come with a receiver. You will need to solder one onto it, as well as soldering a camera. For some people just entering into the drone hobby, micro drones are a great way to get into it because it's a very simple build and simple design. Having to solder on such a tiny pad makes it a little difficult for entry level drone enthusiasts to jump on board with the Project Zero. It's not a difficult thing if you're used to building 5 inch quads or if you understand soldering. But for entry level drones, not the best design. The newbie drone B-Brain Lite uses Betaflight. Basically plug it into your computer and set all the parameters. Aside from setting parameters and rates for your drone in Betaflight, you can also turn on and off OSD display and RGB LED lights that you will not find on the Alien Wolf. And since the b bearing light does not require any soldering, it's a great entry-level drone for kids and those without a lot of electrical knowledge. So for how easy it is to build these two systems, I'm going to have to give the Project Zero a two-star rating. The directions on their website are still kind of confusing. They only have two videos, and one of them's like eight to ten minutes long where the guy kind of rambles on. You really need to streamline your videos and make this stuff user-friendly. Newbie Drone, you get a four and a half star rating for your B-Brain Lite. This drone is incredibly easy with the plug and play design for the cameras and motors. You also have great tutorial videos online on how to bind your controller and set the beta flight parameters. And now we're going to get into the performance aspect of these two flight controllers. This is my opinion on these two flight controllers. Both flight controllers have been made by some amazing, intelligent, skilled people. And both are great. But which one? is great for you. The Project Zero flight controller was tuned by some of the fastest pilots in the scene. The Silverware software is doing amazing things to help the drone become incredibly responsive, snap around turns, and makes acro mode feel like acro mode. Put in some plum sauce or unicorn motors and you're really going to enjoy acro mode for a tiny whoop. Newbie Drone puts in a lot of money in their research and development aspects of their flight controller. Not to say that Alien Whoop doesn't. However, the flight controller I have for this video is the second version of their flight controller. The third version will be the one for the public. They like to put the product out there, test all aspects so they don't release anything with bugs. The newbie drone B-Brain Lite performs great. It's also very snappy around turns and can lock in. The BB Lite is tuned damn near perfect. It is a little more floaty around turns and not as responsive as the Alien Whoop. So if I had to rate the performance of the Alien Whoop, I would have to give you a four and a half star rating. You've done wonders for the tiny whoop size acro mode and it feels great. Freestyle has really stepped up with your flight controller. And newbie drone, I'm going to give you a four star rating for your performance. 
Your drone handles great, is snappy around turns, and can also do acro very well. The active braking in your system seems to increase flight time and performance. So what flight controller should you get this year? I believe it all depends on what kind of pilot you are. If you're an aggressive pilot that likes real snappy rates, doesn't mind soldering, playing with dip switches and diving into your Tyrannus to setting up the parameters, go with the Project Zero. You will have an amazing time and acro mode will feel great. You will love the drone. However, if you are a Sunday flyer or just like to race, fly around the house or at events, if you're just an easygoing pilot that's just in it to have fun, I would highly recommend the Newbie drone. You can't go wrong, the price is good, everything is solid, and you can still tune the rates to do what you want in acro mode and have a lot of fun with the Newbie drone. Thank you again for watching, I'm just your average hobbyist here trying to keep the hobby fun. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel, helps motivate me to make more FPV news and other fun videos. Thank you.